Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the Daily Bible Reading Broadcast for September 26th. And today we're going to be covering the books of Zephaniah and Haggai. I know I said earlier on the broadcast that I was going to be uh, covering Zechariah, but that's tomorrow. And I got ahead of myself a little bit, but today we're going to be covering the books of Zephaniah and Haggai. Or Haggai and each book has three chapters, I believe. Or let me see here. Yep, three chapters for Zephaniah and then... Two chapters for Haggai. Haggai. So, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And let's go ahead and get started on the book of Zephaniah. And chapter 1 says, The word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushai, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of uh, his his uh, his Kaya, in the days of Josiah the son of Ammon king of Judah, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked, and, uh, so this, and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. I will also stretch out mine hand upon, J uh, upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place. And the name of the Chimarims, I guess that's how you pronounce that, uh, with the priests. And them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them that worship and that swear by the Lord, and that swear by uh, Mel Melchum, and them that are turned back from the Lord, and those that have not sought the Lord, nor inquired for him, hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice. He hath bid his guest, guests, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and an howling from the second, and a great cr uh, crashing from the hills. Howl, ye inhabitants of Ma Mactish, uh, for all the uh, merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles, and punish the men that are settled on their lees, that uh, say in their heart, The Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore their goods shall be a booty, and their houses a desolation. Uh, so the house, uh, their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hasteneth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be, uh, be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Chapter 2 
gather yourselves together, ye gather together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. For Gaza shall be forsaken, and Ashkelon a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday, and Ekron shall be rooted up. Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of the Ch Chirithites. The word of the Lord is against you. O Canaan, the land of the Philistines, I will even destroy thee, that there shall be no inhabitant. And the sea coast shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds and folds for flocks. And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. They shall feed thereupon, and the houses of Ashkelon shall they lie down in the evening. For the Lord their God shall visit them and turn away their captivity. I have heard the reproach of Moab and the revelings of the children of Ammon, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Mo Moab shall be as Sodom, and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. Oh boy. Even the uh, bre uh, breeding of nettles and uh, salt pits and a perpetual desolation, the residue of my people shall spoil them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. This shall they have for their pride, because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. Ye, Ethiopians, also ye shall be slain by my sword, and he will sw uh, stretch out his hand against the north, and destroy Assyria, and will make Nineveh a desolation, and dry like a wilderness. And flocks shall lie down in the midst of her, all the beasts of the nations, both of the, both the cormorant, uh, cormorant and the bittern shall lodge in the upper lintels of it. Their voice shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be in the thresholds, for he shall uncover the cedar work. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. How is she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Every one that passeth by her shall hiss and wag his head. Chapter 3 Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city! She obeyed not the voice, she received not correction, she trusted not in the Lord, she drew not near to her God. Her princes within her are roaring lions, her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones till the morrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. I have cut off the nations, their towers, our, their towers are desolate. I have made their streets waste, that none passeth by. Their cities are destroyed, so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I, ha I said, Surely thou wilt fear me, thou wilt receive instruction, so their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I p uh, punish them, but they rose early, and corrupted all their doings. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdom, kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indign indignation. 
Even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. <clears throat> uh, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my supple uh, supp uh, supplant, uh, supplants, uh, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring mine offering. In that day shall thou not be ashamed for all thy doings, wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride, and thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments, he hath cast out thine enemy, the king of Israel, even the Lord, is the is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love, he will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly, who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all, the aff all that afflict thee, and I will save her that uh, halteth, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and f uh, fame in every land where they have been put to shame, and that at that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth, when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. And now let's go into Haggai, or Haggai, in chapter 1, and verse 1 says, In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet unto Zerubbabel, the son of Sh uh, Sh uh, Shaltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of uh, uh, Josedech, the high priest, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, This people say, The time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet, saying, Is it time for you, O ye, that to dwell in your uh, sealed houses, and this house lie waste? Now therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Ha, huh. yeah, consider your ways. Ye have sown much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe, ye, uh, ye clothe you, but there is none warm, and he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountain, and bring wood, and build the house, and I will take pleasure in it, and I will be glorified, saith the Lord. Ye looked for much, and lo, it came to little, and when ye brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why? saith the Lord of hosts, because of my house that is waste, and ye run every man unto his own house. Therefore the heaven over you is stayed from dew, and the earth is stayed from her fruit. And I called for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the corn, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground bringeth forth, and upon men, and upon cattle, and upon all the labor of the hands. Then Zerubbabel, the son of uh, uh, Sh Sheltiel, the, uh, 
the and Joshua, the son of Josedech, the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of the Lord their God and the words of Haggai the prophet, as the Lord their God had sent him, and the people did fear before the Lord. Then spake Haggai the Lord's messenger in the Lord's message uh, unto the people, saying, I am with you, saith the Lord. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shetiel, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Josedech, the uh, high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. And they came and did work in the house of the Lord of hosts, their God, in the four and twentieth day of the sixth month, in the second year of Darius the king. Chapter 2 In the seventh month, in the one and twentieth day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now, um, speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shetiel, governor of Judah, uh, the, and the, to Joshua, the son of Josedech, the high priest, and to the residue of the people, saying, Who is left among you that, sh uh, that say, saw this house in her first glory? And how do ye see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, saith the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Joshedech, the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, saith the Lord, and work. For I am with you, saith the Lord of hosts, according to the word that I covenanted with you when ye came out of Egypt. So my spirit remaineth among you, fear ye not. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of this uh, latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. In the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord, by Haggai the prophet, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Ask now the priests concerning the law, saying, If one bear holy flesh in the skirt of his garment, and with his skirt do touch bread, or pottage, or wine, or oil, or any meat, shall it be holy? And the priests answered and said, No. Uh, then said Haggai, If one that is unclean, by a dead body touch any of these, shall it be unclean? And the priests answered and said, It shall be unclean. Then answered Haggai and said, So is this people, and so is this nation before me, saith the Lord, and so is every work of their hands, and that which they offer there is unclean. And now, I pray you, consider from this day and upward from before a stone was laid upon a stone in the temple of the Lord. Since those days were, when one came to an heap of twenty measures, there were but ten. When one came to the pre press fat for to draw out, uh, uh, out fifty vessels out of the press, there were but twenty. I smote you with blastings, and with mildew, and with hail, and all the labors of your hands. Yet ye turned not to me, saith the Lord. Consider now, from this day and upward, from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, even from the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider it. Uh, is the seed yet in the barn? Yea, as yet the vine, and the fig tree, and the pomegranate, and the olive tree, hath not brought forth from this day, will I bless you. Uh, and again the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the morning, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and I will overthrow the throne of the kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, 
and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horses and their riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. In that day, saith the Lord of hosts, will I take it, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of uh, Sheltiel, saith the Lord, and will make thee as a signet, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. And that is the end of our Bible reading for today. And just in time, my alarm's going off. So, praise the Lord. All right. Well, till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. And hope you all come back tomorrow for the Baptist Bread devotional and daily Bible reading tomorrow. And we'll be starting in Zechariah chapters 1 through 7. So, hope you'll join me for that. Until next time, may the Lord richly bless you again, and have a great and wonderful rest of your Saturday. Amen. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.